All right, good afternoon. This is Coach Big Pete of DeepDishFootball.com and the Wormy Report. And again, guess what? It's time now for another conference preview, the last conference preview of 2018. And this comes from a suggestion from last night from a young player. And I like to thank him and uh, have one more conference preview to do, so here it is. Um, quick reminder, this is uh, Coach Big Pete of Deep Dish Football. Follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Also, my email is coachbigpetefp at gmail.com. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them, and I will answer them. Um, also, quick reminder, 8 p.m., Starting next week, Wednesday and Thursday, is Deep Dish Football Live, as last season. Uh, 30, 40 minutes talking IHSA football games in all over the state of Illinois. Saturday at 9 a.m., every Saturday at 9 a.m., starting next week, is Breakfast with Coach Big Pete. Talking about games, talking about how the season is, talking about players, talking, giving out awards to players of the day. Uh, night, sorry, and uh, who's the coach of the night too? So deep to breakfast with uh, preface with Coach Big Pete is back for season three. So let's get started. This is my last conference, um, the Apollo Conference, and I did the Apollo Con Apollo Conference. I did that. I think I did last season too. Um, so it was I probably bad. And like I say, previews, reviews, they mean nothing. Predictions mean nothing. This is high school football. High school football is highly unpredictable. There's a lot of parity. In high school football, what is up is down, and what is down is up. So there's a lot of things that change, and that's what you gotta love about high school football is that a lot of things change during the season. Now, what struck me about the Apollo Conference, and I was personally shocked by this, is, and I just saw this today, how many good quarterbacks are in this conference. And even if it's a heavy run, offense oriented offense there's going to be lots of how do, how do you say it's going to be all fixed on the percentage the, the completion percentage of the quarterback this season and how many turnovers are made and it's simple homework any coach any football person will tell you but again this is going to be huge for the Paul conference this season now I have one surprise team, and I have this being a three-horse race. So here we go. My first team is Mahmoud Seymour. I probably mispronounced it. I will mispronounce school names. I will mispronounce the player names. Please um, do not be offended. I deeply am sorry, and I do apologize. Mahmoud Seymour, high school. Um, my uh, players look out for... Finch, a quarterback, wide receiver, Connor uh, Farsom, Farsom uh, and Mendenhall at defensive end. Hopefully, I didn't get that. Hopefully, I didn't get that wrong. I probably got that wrong. I do apologize. But uh, Mama Hootsie Moore, they got a great team coming in, great seniority. I think they're going to be uh, one of those top horses in the race. Next is Effingham. For Effingham, I got quarterback uh, Landon Wolf, uh, Brown, and Ballman. At defensive backs for Effingham, players look out for and Mendenhall. I think no Mendenhall. I, I'm mispronouncing. I'm mis I'm getting the school wrong. I do apologize. Uh, for the Apollo, I forgot uh, Grove and Veldin Veldin for I'm um, who see more. Again, I apologize. This has been really bad. It's a bad note taken. So Effingham, I like uh, Wolf Landon Wolf. He's a hell of a quarterback. Uh, one of the better quarterbacks in this conference and in the state of Illinois. Very underrated. I think he's going to be key for Effingham. Effingham, I know, graduated Noah Spencer, and I'm forgetting the other uh, the other guy that they graduated too. But Effingham, the Burning Hearts, look good. This still look good this season. My third team is Taylorville. Uh, Brandon Odom, uh, Justin uh, Wright, uh, and Hunter Morgan. Taylorville again. Looks good. They graduated some talented players. They they did, but Brandon Odom is one of the best quarterbacks in the state of Illinois. Again, another underrated quarterback from this conference in the state with Landon Wolf. And I'm really impressed with these quarterbacks. And the Finch, uh, Finch, a quarterback, really impressed with him too. Um, Charleston. Uh, I think Charleston's going to have another tough season. Quinton Hall and Jacob, Callah Jacob Kelly Callahan. A lot of seniors, though. 
very impressed with the amount of seniors in Charleston. Mantoon, uh, Jack Pilsen at quarterback, and Abraham Baker at running back. Again, I think Mantoon's in that sort of bracket with Charleston. It's going to be a tough season for them. My surprise team is the Lincoln Rail Splitters. Uh, Police at wide receiver, Funk at wide receiver, Sparrow at linebacker, and uh, hopefully this is the right quarterback, uh, Drayden uh, po Pozig at quarterback for the Lincoln Rail Splitters. I have them as a, my surprise team. I think they have a great passing attack. They also have a great slot back too. I really do like Lincoln's uh, wide receiver core, and I like the and I like I, li I just like the team as much, and I think they're going to be a surprise team, the Lincoln Rail Splitters. Now my last team. And a team to keep a very good close eye on to Mount Zion, uh, Sage Davis at running back, and Drew London, athlete. I have him as an athlete thinking about college terms and everything else. But Drew, Drew London, uh, a multi-talented player that can play any spot, defensive end, tight end, offensive lineman, whatever you need him to do, he can play it. He's a very interesting player. Drew uh, London. Hopefully I didn't get that wrong. But again, it's going to be an interesting thing for Apollo Conference. I got Mahmoud Seymour, Effingham, and Taylorville top three. My surprise team is Lincoln. Keep a close eye for Mount, uh, Mount Zion. Charleston could do something because they have, a, again, a great seniority. And like I said, in that division, that um, that class division of schools, when you have great seniority, you can do a lot of damage, especially with players that have played with each other for a long time. So Charleston definitely, you, you, it's, it's, I think it's going to be a tough season for them. But again, predictions and previews mean nothing. And Mattoon... It's going to be another, I think it's going to be a tough season, but keep an eye out for Jack Pilsen and Abraham Baker. Also, yeah, um, it's going to be, I, f I hope I get to see one of these games. It'll be very interesting. It'll be a great, it's going to be a great time. So a uh, quick reminder, follow Coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my work, feel free to leave a tip or a donation on uh, the bottom of the link. Uh, also, breakfast with Coach Big Pete, Saturday, every time, 9 a.m., um, Deep Dish Football Live Wednesday and Thursday at uh, 8 p.m. Uh, before the big weekend it gets ready for uh, high school football. Um, that is it. And if you have any questions, again, email is coachbigpeat, fp at gmail.com. Good luck to the Apollo Conference. There's a bunch of talented teams, and you can nominate your game after breakfast with Coach Big Pete at 10 a.m. every Saturday with hashtag, hashtag Deep Dish Football Come See Our Game. You can put the hashtag on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, whatever you want to, I will find out those hashtags. And then after that, I will count up the nominations and then put up a four-game vote that Saturday, uh, that Saturday night going into Sunday. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day, and good luck to everyone in the Apollo Conference. Again, great teams, great coaches. Uh, met a couple of the coaches, nice guys. Good luck.